Our rigid two-party system that we have always had in the United States does not result from the view that some people have that there are two possible points of view and both sides are being represented. There are more than two sides. There are many possible political points of view, yet we only have two parties. Throughout most of our history, these two parties had many little factions within them, but that's no longer the case. The two parties are very rigid and they're getting more rigid. And I'm about to show you why we end up with a two-party system and show you that it's based on our election laws. It's based on our system of win by plurality. I'm going to use the Florida 2010 Senate race as an example to prove my point. In this race, you had the Republican, Marco Rubio. You had a former Republican turned independent, our former governor, Charlie Crist, and then you had the Democrat, Kendrick Meek. Crist, of course, would be the moderate centrist candidate. Rubio's the solid base Republican. He's backed at the time by the Tea Party. Doesn't get along with them so well lately, by the way. At the time, the Tea Party liked him. And then you've got Kendrick Meek, the base Democrat. Meek thought that he was going to win because Democrats do outnumber Republicans in Florida. What Meek didn't count on is that a lot of Democrats in Florida are conservative Democrats, and many of them like Charlie Crist. Charlie Crist was a very popular governor. Rubio wins by plurality, but not by majority. He did not get over 50%. These people who voted for Meek here, if they could do it all over again, don't you think they would have done something different? Don't you think that maybe they would have decided, you know something? Crist is better than Rubio. Maybe we should vote for Crist. Crist is the moderate, by the way. He's well liked by both parties. But they didn't do that. They stuck with Meek and thereby split the anti-Rubio vote, and Rubio won. But he won without a majority. That's what's called plurality. You don't need a majority. If we had a six-way race between six different candidates, all with their own little groups of support, one of those six candidates could win with even 28% of the vote. So not even a third would be required. This is why people tend to rally behind one of two candidates in a plurality system. This has been observed throughout the history of elections all over the world. Whenever you have a single member district win by plurality system, you always end up with a two party system. Without question, it might as well be a scientific law it's so solid. So if we ever wanted to change this, one way we could do it is with runoffs. There's also proportional representation where you allocate the seats na nationwide based on the popular vote towards a political party. But a runoff election is a simpler way to do it and it keeps it candidate cen centered. In a runoff election, we would first round vote for all these candidates. They would take the top two, have them run off unless somebody breaks 50%. It would come down to Crist and Rubio. And if it's between Crist and Rubio, Crist might actually win. So if we want to change the two-party system, we need to change the election laws. No amount of motivation for people to vote third party is really going to make a difference. We need to change the election laws. If you vote third party, that would be these people, you're doing it more out of principle and out of protest. I'll definitely say it's better than not voting at all but you're not going to win. You're really just voting to make a statement, to say, look, I don't like either one of them, or either of the three, I guess, in this case. So I hope this makes sense. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below.